All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I recharge my air conditioning. All right, so this stuff is actually pretty easy to do. This is the refrigerant uh, 134A. It's got the little gauge on it, which is helpful. Um, I've used these things for like ever. Um, works well. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I've had BMWs, Toyotas um, that I've recharged the refrigerant for. This is for the Prius Prime, and if you look here, it tells you what kind of air conditioning you need. The R134A. You want to make sure it says the same thing on the can. If it doesn't, then you're using the wrong thing. And then the next thing you do is you got to start the engine up and then find the low port valve. Okay, so on the left side, this is the Prius Prime. There's an L, low. There's an H, which means high. We want to fill it up using the low port, okay? So I'm gonna, I already loosened that and took it off. Um, once you connect this to it, uh, it's going to tell you, so I'll show you. All I do is I, it's got this little spring on it like that. So you just kind of bring it up, put it down into there and then you, oops, hold on. All right, so it's in there right now and it's off okay so in the off position the air conditioning is not on the engine's not on it's in the red already but when i turn on the the vehicle and turn on the air conditioning it's gonna drop back down quite a bit so let's go to the vehicle start it up and this is how i do it you know what i'm not a pro i'm just telling you guys how i do this okay so i'm gonna start the vehicle up put it in uh, I'm just gonna run the engine so I'm just gonna tap the gas um, hit the rear defrost it kind of keeps it running as well and then for this I do want to put it on the air conditioning setting so make sure it's on air conditioning mode put it on the coldest temperature crank it up on air conditioning low okay so now the AC should kick on and when we go back to check, <clears throat> this dropped, okay? So it dropped to the green. Now, um, this, is, this is the gauge that I go by, is, is the gauge when the air conditioning's actually on and running. And if it's in the green, you're pretty much okay. Now, I actually filled it up a little bit, um, a couple weeks ago so I'm just kind of showing you how I do this now if you have to fill it up a little bit more you would squeeze this trigger and it would put it in there so if I squeeze it every time I squeeze the trigger it's gonna put a little bit of this Freon in there and when I'm done all you honestly have to do is just Make sure this will shake. Make sure you shake up the can well before you use it. But it's in the green, guys. Like you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. Done. Okay. Put the L port back on, and it's over. Okay. Now that's how I do it. I don't know how you guys do it, but that's what works for me. You don't want to overdo it, to be honest. So somewhere in the middle of the green, um, PSI, 30 something PSI. I think right here it says, well, it, doesn't, it just says 1,060 grams um, of this stuff. But make sure you shake the can up really good. This was just kind of showing you how I set it up. Again, I already filled it like um, a couple weeks ago. And it does blow colder. Um, I'll get my temperature gun and show you how cold it gets in a second here but yeah that's how you do it um and this is the stuff that i'm using it's called arctic freeze uh synthetic refrigerant and honestly i can use this again for my other vehicles um and i have used it in my toyota i haven't tried it in my honda yet but i might try it over there as well so give it a thumbs up and i'll be back to show you the temps coming out of the vent. Guys, I'm back. 
and I got my temperature gun, okay? So it's working really well. There's the temperature coming out of the uh, vents and 36, it's like freezer, 32. So yeah, man, my uh, Raytech uh, mini temp gun is showing really good temperatures coming out of these vents over here. <sighs> Super cold. It's working great. There's the proof. And I've got, uh, let's see, right now, got 188,582 miles. And guys, it's working great. It's nice and cold. It's going to be well in the uh, summertime. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. But yeah, I love it. That's how you do it. If you need a little more Freon and it's not getting very cold, um, all you need is is uh, follow some of the instructions that I showed and you're going to get really cold temperatures coming out. And I calibrated this. Um, now, my temperature gun here, it's a laser temperature gun, and um, it reads about two degrees high. So um, it's still really cold, you know, below 40 degrees. Refrigeration temperatures... Uh, ideal temps are 41 degrees or below, so it's blowing out colder than refrigeration temps. All right, give it a thumbs up, guys. Appreciate it.